Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Velvet Lounge Life. I am staying at the Hampton Inn and Suites in Pittsburgh. This time I booked a suite. So I will show you around so that you can see what it looks like. Um, just in case you ever decide to stay here. It is actually not a bad suite. It is better than five and six hundred dollar suites I've had in New York. Um, for sure. Like, a lot better. I would tell you guys, do not stay at the Double Tree in Chelsea. You will pay three times and a half as much, or at least three times as much, and the room will not be this um, nice. So you have a kitchenette here with a sink. They supply paper towels and other small supplies. There's a mini refrigerator. There's no freezer in it, but it's a fridge. A microwave and of course drawers for other storage. Coffee service is not in the bathroom. <laughs> I have such an issue with that. And there's lots of mirrors in here. There's plenty of windows, which is awesome. So normally you have like one big window. This suite has three large windows with excellent views. This is a corner room. Um, you do have your double nightstand. This is a king size bed, even though I don't know, to me it looks like a queen size, but maybe that's because I have a California king at home. I don't know. <laughs> and I actually did that to the pillows because yes, I have doused everything in Lysol. Never travel without your Lysol. Um, they always give you chocolates. So yes, there are still places that put chocolates, not necessarily on the pillow, but definitely in the room. And they have them here in a couple of places. You have a desk, um, a actual ergonomic chair, which is cool, I guess, if I was going to sit here and edit videos, but I doubt if I'll have time for that. And once again, my view is of the History Museum and the Sports Museum. Let's see if I can make that larger, is right there. And this is the Art District. So right down the street, there's the Pittsburgh Opera, as well as the Pittsburgh Ballet. That ballet, little tone, little mention goes out to Connor JC. Um, and what else is in here? You actually, this television is larger than the one that's in a standard or the whatever type of room I had before. I think it was like a standard room. But the room was really large, that I can say. This room is definitely a really good size as well. Of course, there's plenty of furniture in here. There's a couch, which pulls out to a sleeper bed, an ottoman, which I will be using when I sit down to put my boots on, side table, and of course, matching nightstand. And then over here is your bathroom area. And there's a jetted tub. Um, so if you needed that hard jacuzzi, I guess you could do that. And of course, there are there's a vanity. The product I always look at the products. <laughs> the products that they're using are Neutrogena, which I like Neutrogena. Um, and of course, there's plenty of towels if you need anything. In addition, the staff here is incredibly help helpful. And, um, I mean, they give you complimentary water and they have cookies and other things. Like if you are that kind of person and you just need something extra, they definitely have it for you. And of course, um, like I said, plenty of mirrors. This is a double sided closet. Of course, mirrors on both parts of it. The standard fare. As far as extra bedding, iron, ironing board, and look at that, a luggage butler. So this is the suite. It is, you know, I would definitely, as you can see, I've stayed here. This is my fourth stay um, because I'm working on this movie. So if I come back again, which it sounds as if I'll be back again, um, more about that later, um, then 
I would definitely select a sweet and the sweet of course is a little bit more um, in cost if you will than a, a room that has like a king bed or double queens or whatever the room was I had before um, and this time the additional fee was I considered it to be very small so I was like, honestly, before I would have booked a suite the other times as well, but they didn't have any left because there was like some sort of volleyball tournament or some kind of thing going on where this place was sort of teeming with people. This time there's, I guess, nothing big going on. So that's how I was able to get a suite because it wasn't already booked. And also when I do these acting gigs, I always book my rooms at the last moment like within a couple of days, I would say three max of the project, just in case there are changes, cancellations, weather issues, etc., etc. So this is what you get at the Hampton Inn and Suites, downtown Pittsburgh, if you decide to stay here. And I would say out of the two types of rooms that I've had, this is definitely the better one and the one that I would suggest. Um, and also, I hate to say this, I think that um, they're giving you like extra perks as well if you book this versus a standard room. They gave me extra perks just because they knew why I was here before, but I feel as if I was just here like, you know, to stay, I don't think they would have done that. So, and maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but you know, they were extraordinarily nice every single time I stayed. Like I said, this is my fourth stay and so far, so awesome. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have a choice, you know, check it out. And of course, this is one of the Hilton properties. And as I stated, it's in the heart of the art district. Did I tell you that? Did I say that before? Because I love art. Oh, and also the Andy Warhol Museum is right down the street, as well as there's like another museum. The um, Metropolitan Museum of Art has an ins has a location out here as well that's on the street. Like I could walk there in like four minutes. So lots of stuff to see as far as like the heart of downtown where like tons of action is going on. You can walk there in about 15 minutes, probably less. I would say 10 to 15 minutes. My husband and I did that, and I did it on my own when I stayed here before. I didn't do it the first time I was here just because we were too busy shooting 99% of the time. But this is it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel, please. Leave a comment down below if you've ever visited Pittsburgh and if you have what do you suggest as far as the things to do? Because I probably will have an extra like day and a half here. So I will be able to go out into the world and do some stuff by myself. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be well and remember that your health is your wealth. And without your health, you have nothing.